Hello fishing friends, this is Matthew with Out Fishing 13 bringing you another real service and repair video. Today we're going to look at two Abu Garcia reels, old versus new. This is the Abu, this is the Abu Matic um, 170 and this is a recent um, purchase of mine it's called a Max Pro. Okay. These you can buy new in the store, these you can buy on eBay. So let's take a look at them and compare them and get an idea which might be the better reel. Um, I think that better is all a relative uh, as far as purchasing a reel, whether you want something brand new or what you want to look at something that's vintage that you can take fishing. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at these two reels and I'm gonna take them I'm not going to disassemble them all the way, but I'm going to get to where we can look at the innards and the gear system and just how these reels work to give you a comparison of the old versus the new. Now this Max Pro by Abu Garcia is a fairly new um, recent reel. Yeah, I think I purchased it last year and uh, it's a pretty nice reel. Let's talk about a couple of things. Let's talk about one what they're constructed and made of, um, two, uh, how the line retrievable system works, and three, the gear system, and four, the drag system. Okay, so taking a look at both these reels, one of the things that I note in here is both of them are made out of aluminum. They both have aluminum covers, you know, um, this one comes off with a quick release system. This one screws all the way off. But they're both made out of like aircraft aluminum or something like that. Very nice constructed um, uh, covers. This one has a smaller hole. This one has a larger hole. Um, so, but both very nice as far as the construction here. Then they both have what I'd call a die cast aluminum body that's what this is made out of and this one is as well okay now this one shows that it's made in china with a little sticker here this one is made in sweden there the um the red color on here and the gray color on here um, looks like it's anodized aluminum so it's going to stay for a long time. It's not going to corrode off or chip off or anything like that. The other thing that on here is they both have nice aluminum handles right here. This part right here is aluminum. This part right here is aluminum. This has a, a drag gear out here. It's a nice aluminum drag gear. The drag gear on this right here um, seems to be stainless steel or something like that. It's It might be aluminum. They both have plastic handles. This one's a little bit bigger than this one right here. This one's kind of small, so you just have to grip it with two fingers. Whereas on this one right here, you can get you know your finger on there, a couple fingers on there. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit softer, has nice grips on there. Um, they're basically about the same as far as mounting it to your um, pole. You'll want to use a, um, a bait caster pole for this. Okay. All right, the next thing we want to look at is the line retrieval system. <clears throat> this one right here is, um, is a stainless steel, and it's been well polished. It has a nice rounded edge here for the line to come up over. I don't know how much this was used um, prior to me um, getting it, but it doesn't have any grooves here. I can see that the line has worn a little bit of a pattern here, but there's no grooves in here. Uh, it's a big heavy, it has a big heavy washer here, which is part of the brake system for uh, casting. So that's pretty nice. This right here is a very, it seems to be a very nice uh, spool. It's not quite as round right here um, for the line retrieval, but that may not make much difference. I do notice one thing I like on this one right here, and that is these pins, they're not roller bearings, but they do have a roller system on it. Whereas the line comes around, this little outside piece right here will roll. And so it's got looks like a, a brass pin with a stainless steel roller on it. And this right here, this this is kind of a hard rubber, black rubber, plastic 
um, pretty nice uh, and will work very effectively for as a line break. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's um, let's take off these spools and look at the inside here. Um, well, this right here, you just got to hold the handle and spin it off. It's pretty easy to service. Take and take that off here. This one right here is the same sort of system. You just take and you spin it off. Okay, let's take a look at the underneath of these. And, and there are some differences that are quite significant on how these work. Um, this one right here just uses a spring system very much like a Zebco or other brands. So the pickup pins just have a little spring here and they're pretty nice they seem to they're made of plastic which is not uncommon the springs right here um, could potentially if you ended up getting line underneath there line could catch on these so that's a little bit of a minus they could have done a better job of maybe making this spinner cone where these pins were hidden and there wasn't things for line to get caught on if line did ever get underneath here which occasionally does happen now this right, this spinner cone here on the old one is is kind of unique. Um, the way it works is um, when you want to cast it, when you push down on this, you push up against this, and the pins just pop in like that. Um, when you start the retrieval system, it engages with this these little um, nubs here, and they push these out, and these click into place just like that. It does have this flat spring here that holds these down. Now, if you did get line underneath here, it could get caught in here and, and caught on some things, but I don't think it's going to actually, um, like I've seen these springs before on a Zebco get all bent up and you kind of have to work them and bend them back into place or the, you know, or you end up getting a new spinner cone. One of the things I did notice too is this rubber washer here, even though it is, I don't know, like I said, more than 40 years old, it's in really good shape. Um, it will probably last another 40 years. So, so when I turn the reel on here, what spins is the spinner cone on both of them. And um, one of the things that I noticed on this one is there's no um, oscillating spool. However, on the old Abumatic, I want to show you this. That spool oscillates a lot, probably about a quarter of an inch. And that's a nice system because that helps keep your line um, from bunching up right in the middle, whereas this one, it doesn't. And so they tend to make the spools a little bit narrower. This one could hold a lot more line, and the line would obviously bit, get spooled on there much more evenly back and forth. But in this case right here, the spool doesn't actually move. Where on this right here, the spool does move around. And I'll show you, I'll get underneath here and show you just how this is constructed. So let's take a look at that. So on this, on the, on the old one, all you have to do is turn this a quarter turn to the right and actually comes right off because this is the oscillating system on here. That whole thing moves back and forth. And um, to accomplish that, this spool does not actually spin on the shaft. It just oscillates back and forth. Um, it's made out of uh, stamped aluminum. You can see that it's um, that it, the spool is made by with. Um, like a piece of tubing here that's been swaged on, that's swaged together. So very nice spool. Um, it looks like it's been, I don't think this is just bare aluminum. I think it's been anodized where it's silver. But the spool quality is very nice on this, this system here. Again, we'll get to the drag because you're probably wondering, well, if... If this spool doesn't move, you know, it's stationary. It doesn't spin at all, whereas this one does. How How is the drag accomplished? Now, I'll get to that in a little bit. So let's take off this one right here to take a look at 
um, the spool in more detail. So we need to take off this clip here and this will give us a look at the drag system as well. So, so we have two drag washers on the front. One is kind of a fibrous drag washer that's not just plastic, but one is pretty sturdy, you know. And then a stainless steel um, washer that's keyed and it doesn't actually move. And then you got the spool here on a big spool pin here. And then you have the, this is pretty nice. This is not a bearing, but it is a bushing to um, that uh, makes this so that it, uh, it's going to wear a lot better. But so there's the spool for you. It does have a clicker system built in here. You, you'll hear um, a positive drag going out. Okay. The drag is is um, adjusted by a drag gear down here. And this has a pretty big drag gear here that moves it back and forth. It basically, it's very similar to a Zebco in that there's this ramp right here. It starts out high and goes down low. And then this this also has ramps on it as well. So as you go around, um, it, there's the lowest setting and then the setting gets higher and higher. There's the little clicker right there. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to take um, the backs off here. And so I'm going to take the handle off on this one. I don't have to take the handle off this one. I just have to take this side plate off. But um, the buttons are very similar. The, the interesting thing about this button is it is built on the side. Okay. And this button right here is built right in the middle. It's kind of It's got a nice feel to it. And it's easy to use. It's curved and it fits your thumb very nicely, so it's comfortable. This one right here is a little bit different. It's it's kind of on the side there. But as you can see, it's not uncomfortable at all to put your thumb just on the side there for casting. This one right here, the nice thing about this reel is if you like to use your left hand for fishing, it's ambidextrous and you can take an remove this screw right here and turn your handle around from the right side to the left side okay and which is very simple just like any kind of spinning reel you just move it to the other side the handle is attached to this screw right here that pivots on that that particular screw right so there this reel has three bearings three ball bearings actually it has four bearings one's a roller bearing but it's really easy to take and service this and take this this out. See, there's the other bearing right here. Now, this gear system right here is all metal. It is made out of like a die cast white metal. Um, so not the strongest metal, but still very durable, will last you a good long time as long as you keep it clean and lubricated. The shaft right here, has um, two bearings on it right here. One is the anti-reverse. It's an instant anti-reverse bearing. And then it has a, a, um, a ball bearing right here. And a nice heavy duty um, brass um, pinion gear. So that's a big bonus right there. Um, that brass right there. A little bit of a minus on this gear right here. Still, it's gonna be a good durable reel. And one of the things I like is this is um, a helical cut gear. And so um, it's a very smooth operation as you, you don't even hear the gears meshing together as you reel it in, but uh, that's really nice. So a total of four bearings, three ball bearings and one roller bearing. Let's take apart the old Abumatic and take a look at it. So this one right here, the handle is also connected to one of the screws. One thing I notice on these Abu Garcias, there's really not an effort made to keep it, um, uh, the inside of the reel here, waterproof or even, you know, just 
so water doesn't get in. If you drop these in the water, water is going to just gush right in. So let's take a look at this inside of this reel. Now, taking this reel apart is a lot more complex than servicing this one. So, but it is much more complex of a reel because it does have the oscillating spool um, and then the um, drag system is built into there. Now, one of the things you'll notice on this one is it has like really good metal gears here and the metal um, pinion gear here. Let me show you how the oscillator works. There's a pin inside here. And that pin goes around and moves that oscillator back and forth. It has um, two pins here that push in and out on this particular oscillator that sits right here. If you can see that at the same time. So that's a big plus here where you have all metal gears. They're going to be extremely strong. You can see that they're fairly deep cut gears which means that they have plenty of meat. They're not going to slip. <clears throat> this right here, this plate right here, underneath that plate is actually the drag system. It has a very effective drag system. And one of the, I'll show you one of the cool features. So I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to put these back together so that we can um, look at the drag system and just how tough and strong it is and how easy it is to set on either one of them. So while I have it at this point right here, before I put the cap on, let me just demonstrate how the drags work. So on this particular reel, when you move this drag wheel to the left, it loosens up the drag. Those ramps loosen up and, and the drag is very sensitive. You move it to the right, that tightens up those ramps and the plates against the spool and it gets tighter and tighter. And you can you can put this up pretty high. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, you know I would say probably five or six pounds of pull on it, and it will still go. Okay, now it's tightened up all the way. But that's basically how that drag system works. This system right here is much different than this. Um, it's, it's fairly unique for a spin cast reel. And that is this because the spool doesn't move what happens is the spinner cone itself moves now there is an advantage to that and that is when you're spin turning the reel the spool won't move and neither will the line unless it's pulling out so um what this does is it prevents the line from getting twisted when you're reeling in and the drag is engaged because when you're reeling in with this what will happen is this, the spinner cone and the spool will move at the same time um, if the drag is engaged. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. It's probably pretty hard to do it, but basically when you're spinning it and the drag is engaged, what will happen is this drag, the spool will go around and each time that goes around, it'll put a twist, one twist in the line. Whereas this one, when the drag is engaged and you're reeling, that line won't move and won't put any twists, zero twists in the, in the reel, in the line. So as far as drag systems, this is a very typical drag system for a spin cast reel or a spinning reel. It works the, basically the same way. However, this one right here um, is a little bit more complex, or a lot more complex, but it's way better because when you're reeling in, you're not going to put any twist in the line. And let me show you another cool feature on this one here. When you roll, reel forward, the drag is fully engaged. In other words, um, when, you, when this goes out um, and the, the drag is goes out which means it's going to go backwards like this to let that line out um, <clears throat> but if you take and you reel back on the reel just a quarter turn like that all of a sudden it, it frees this up and i can demonstrate that better on when i put this the and in other words it's this neat little system that if you just if you just pull back on your reel like this 
then you can let the fish run and then you can engage the, the full drag that way for reeling in. So a pretty cool feature. It, it has to be a manual thing. You have to actually pull this back and then when you reel in, then it tightens up that drag. So kind of a cool feature where it's like a fighting drag where if you need to let the fish run, you can do that by, by just letting it out here like that. So let's put these back together, put the caps back on, and, and then I'll show you the drag a little bit more. So let me demonstrate the drag while I got the caps on. You'll notice that when I pull this out, it has a nice click to it. It has an anti, instant anti-reverse. I mean, you, you, the, you don't, if you just put your handle back a little bit, it immediately stops. Okay. And if the fish are going out, or if you're reeling and you hear that clicking, um, you know that the drag is engaging. It's really easy to, while you have, while you have your hand on, hand on the, on the reel, you can use your other hand to either loosen this or not. I always recommend that you set the drag where you want it and then leave it. Don't mess with it. And then the drag system on this one, when the drag goes out, you'll notice those, there's no click. So that's kind of a minus here on this one. I wish that uh, this one had a clicker because I do pay attention when the line is going out. It has a slow click, listen. So there is a slow click that indicates it's going out. But one of the big pluses on this one is, like I said, when you turn this handle back 90 degrees, then the drag comes out really easy. So one of the things that you could do when you're fishing is you could actually use that, like you have this pole in a pole holder and you're fishing from the bank, you could actually take and just turn that back and then wait for that fish to take it out and there'd be very little resistance on there. So it's kind of a, that's a pretty neat feature there. But again, one of the things that you can do here is when you have, if you're reeling in, and the drag engages, you're not going to twist any line at all. Whereas this one right here, if you have hold of the line here, and you're going like this, it's going to twist up that line. It's going, every time that um, spinner cone goes around one time, it's going to put a twist in that particular line. So as far as reels go, if you if you own one of these and you bought a new Abumatic, um, that's one of the modern ones, let me t in the comments below tell me what you think about them. Which reel do you think is the best? Um, my opinion is is that this reel right here is probably the w most well made um, of the two. It's got steel gears. As far as the housing and and the covers. And the handles, they're all, they're both made out of aluminum. Um, they're going to be super durable. Both of them have, do have plastic parts on them. Both of them have really nice rubber um, line brakes on them. Uh, so as far as just like the manufacturing of them, the outside, they're both on par, you know. Um, as far as a gear system is concerned, this one has a superior gear system. It's it's made out of metal and it's um the, it can corrode if you don't take care of it but if it stays well greased it's going to last forever this one right here has a brass gear main gear and then it has like a white metal um gear for the main gear still very strong but not as strong as steel or alum um the brass um, as far as a drag system is concerned, this is a very effective drag system. This one will be very smooth. It's easy to control. This one right here, you have to take your your hand off of the spool, um, and or, or you use your finger right here to set it and 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 engage it. You know to make it um, tighten it up. You know, but if you set it where you need it. When you first start going fishing, you don't need to set it again. This one does have an extra feature on here, which is this feature where you can set it where the drag is not engaged at all, and it'll spool out the line for you. And then all you have to do is just start reeling, and it'll engage. So that's a pretty cool feature. 
Um, I didn't talk about line capacity. This one, um, because it has an oscillating spool and the spool's a little bit wider, that's just a feature that this one doesn't even have. So this right here is fine as a line control system, way better than this one right here. Um, this one, you can see the line on here is a little bit bigger. This is more like, you know, 12 to 14 pound test. This one has eight pound test with it. Um, I haven't really fished with this one. It was given to me and um, I haven't had a really a chance to use it a lot at all. So, but I will be taking this out this spring and using it a lot more and put it on a nice pole. And also using this one, as far as weight is concerned, they're about the same. Um, but both really great reels. This one was made in China. China. This one was made in Sweden. So, uh, you know, pluses and minuses there. But uh, both very nice reels. It's pretty cool to look at an old Abu Garcia reel and a new Abu Garcia um, spin, um, spin cast reel. Again, like I said, if you have both reels, tell me which one you like the most. Put your comments below. Um, and give me a big thumbs up if you like these, these kind of videos. I'm going to be doing a full service of this in the, sometime in the future to show you how to take it all apart. I took most of it apart today, um, but I didn't go through all the parts. This one right here, um, a lot more complex. Um, I will at some point do a full service on this one. Oh, one more thing. This one has ball bearings. This one, I think, has one ball bearing down here. I'm not even really sure because I haven't dug into it that far. But uh, this one, it does have four bearings in it. This one doesn't. may have just one. Um, Anyways, thanks and have a great day. Bye.